so I'm trying to to experiment a different type of setup here. So hopefully this works. Actually, I'm just practicing for our uh, next travel. Actually. So for this video, I'll be showing you uh, three of my scrapbook pages, uh, and I will teach you also some tips on what to do, what not to do in scrapbooking, the things that I learned through the years. So if you want to learn more, just keep on watching. So I'll start with the first scrapbook first. This one. This is actually a legal size scrapbook. Uh, I bought this in the national store. So there's a spring here. And then... The other side, we have a ribbon to cut close the scrapbook. So this is a half colored. So I got this from national bookstore. So for our first page, cover page for my scrapbook. So I just have some my graduation pictures from high school and here and placing some gift wrapping paper. Actually these are gift wrapping papers, no? So I think they stuck through the years. page is my baby picture so actually I got this from uh, all about scrapbooking the kit for the baby and also I put some glitter glue on top of the stickers so that um, you know just a little sparkle Third page is uh, yeah, my first day in university. So actually, there's supposed there's supposed to be a map here of the university, but it's gone now because I use the um, rubber cement. So that's my number one tip. Just because it's written acid free or photos photo safe does not necessarily mean that it's good for scrapbooking. So because rubber cement I was full. Rubber cement it's written in the description. So anyways I did this around October 2004, right? And I think I drew this. So here's uh, what will happen if you try to use rubber cement. So you can see this one. There's a discoloration on the one and actually it's falling apart. So there, that's the disadvantage of uh, using rubber cement. So don't ever ever use rubber cement. So for our next uh, for our next page, here's our college school pictures. So the problem, as you can see, is that I use rubber cement. So for this uh, scrapbook, I use rubber cement as my adhesive, which is wrong actually. So for this one, you can see this one. There's a yellow discoloration already of the rubber cement for the borders, and it is actually falling apart. So this is. From a debut last August 28, and I made this at around March 2005. So for the next page, this one, yeah, and this one. So 
and here. Oh, I think that's supposed to be here. Supposed to be here. Oh, it's falling apart already. But the other ones are acid free papers, so they're okay. There's no discoloration. So this one, the next. I also kind of like journal so for this one I use a printed journal but I think it's better if you handwrite it I think there's just a personal touch just my preference personal preference so here some foam tapes my favorite cousin here again it's falling apart you see so if it is handwritten it's better So here I have the map. Supposedly it's here. However, due to the rubber cement, not ideal. There's some dimensions and some stuff right here. That's it. It's for my first scrapbook. Next one is the cancel. This is a 12 by 12 inch scrapbook. It's wire, acid free, linen free, album wire, 12 by 12, 20 sheets or 40 pages. And this is from Cancel. So this one, the first page. Welcome to my world. So I have this uh, scrapbook screen page protector. This one's better already. I'm no longer using the um, rubber cement. So here you can see this one using acid free. One more tip is I don't like this. Uh, they call this because of the hot weather it tends to get deformed and so I don't use that this is the April last April two thousand eight. This was a time when I started following the scrapbook layouts recommended in the internet. Well, it looked better, but I felt uh, kind of restricted, strictly following a template. So, if you want, you can try, but for me as a personal preference, uh, it's not necessary.
I like using chipboard embellishments because it kind of gives a little dimension to the page. But you have to always remember that this can make your scrapbook uh, bulky instead of when you're using flat. I tend to prefer the 12 by 12 size scrapbook because I find that the uh, paper is colored paper and patterned paper is easier to find than if it is in the size of a long. And I think that's my last page for this scrapbook. So we'll now move on to my third scrapbook, which is the latest scrapbook that I am using. Actually, I just bought this for the sake when I was living in the dormitory. So this was my scrapbook inside the dormitory. So it's from color box, size 12 by 12 inches. And this already has a has the scrapbook protector as the pages so you have to use your own 12 by 12 papers and then just slip it in into the page protectors and this is my last page actually there's a video for this page which I will link in the upper right corner Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.